children welcome to part 2 of chapter 1 the fish tale of class 5 today we are going to study about fishes and boats so let's proceed children in the previous video we had studied about different shapes of fishes today we are going to learn more about the tails of fishes the fishes have tails of different sizes and shapes so let's have a look at them wow they are marvelous isn't it each of them totally different and yet helpful for them in different ways fishes swim by flexing their bodies and tail back and forth they use their back fin to push themselves through the water in the previous video we had studied about dorsal and caudal fins and how they help the fishes to move around easily in the sea isn't it now we'll know more about the tail of a whale well doesn't it look like two legs of human beings yeah it does isn't it so tails of whale almost looks like legs of human beings isn't it a wonder now children let's see more about schools of fish first let's understand what is a school school is a type of collective noun that is collection of group of same type of things animals objects etc here we are going to study about schools of fish that is fishes like to swim together in the sea in big groups and they are called schools of fish and some more examples just like this would be pride of lions the herd of cows and some more like the crowd of people isn't it now why do they stay together in their school they feel safe from the bigger fish whenever the bigger fish comes close to attack them what do they do they just close up together and try to frighten away the bigger fish so that it won't catch hold of them and eat them so isn't it interesting save from bigger fish to scare away the bigger fish what do some small fishes do they drink up lots of water swell up and look big so what do the bigger fishes think they think oh my god this fish is bigger than me so let me stay away from it so it goes away isn't it interesting now let's learn how to draw some fishes jinsi used these shapes to make drawings of fish now can you use these shapes to draw different sea animals well it's very simple you can try to draw and color it as per your choice animals so let's have a look at how to draw a fish and a shark so here you have been shown some steps so follow the steps and draw and color them and here is a picture of few sea animals so can you try and find out more about each of them like whale penguin octopus you know what's special about octopus it has eight arms okay an eel it has a very smooth oily skin which helps it to move easily in the water so like this you can try and find out about each sea animal okay now here you have pictures of some sea animals which are very easy to draw so can you look at it and try drawing them enjoy drawing and coloring children well other than fishes whom else do you see in the sea well we see fishermen with their boats isn't it so what do they do in the sea they go for fishing and they use different types of boats for fishing so let's see what do they experience there in the sea and you can 
think and try and answer these questions for them. Okay? Have you seen the sea? How deep do you think the sea could be? Yes, I have seen the sea. The sea should be at least 1000 feet deep. Wow, that's too deep indeed, isn't it? Do you know how to swim? Would you be scared of the high sea waves? Of course, high sea waves, you can look at the picture. It's too high. And doesn't it look dangerous? Yes, I know how to swim. But still, the high sea waves can be really scary. Isn't it? Now, how high do you think the waves can go? Well, I think... The sea waves can go as high as 50 meters. Can you see? The whole ship is sinking in the sea waves, isn't it? So, it can really be too high and dangerous at times. Right? Now children, let's see about different types of boats fishermen use for fishing in the sea. The first is log boat. This was used long time back. The next is a long tail boat. It gets its name from the long tail on it. The next is an oar boat. Oar boats are used simply just for boating or moving around easily. The last one. Oh, this is a motor boat. It's used for fishing as well as for cruising. Have you ever gone for boat rides? Well, maybe you might have travelled in one of the motor boats. And if you have, please discuss with your friends about it and how you enjoyed the boating. Now, further, let's see in detail about each of these boats. Okay? Now, the first one is the log boat. Simple boats made from logs of wood tied together. If the sea is rough with very high tides and strong wind is blowing, then these fishermen have a very difficult time. What do you think would happen? The water would enter the log boats and maybe they would sink or drown. So it's quite dangerous, don't you think so? Now children, let's see about oar boats. Oars are traditionally made of wood. They form a long shaft with flat blade on the end. The oar, when moved along in water, helps the boats to propel ahead. That is, to move the boat ahead, you have to push the water back. And for that, the oars are used to push the water back which helps the boats to move ahead. They are used nowadays for transporting goods. Goods means different types of materials, items. And also they are used in various competitions. You can see in the second picture, they are using it for a competition, right? So let's go ahead and see about next type of boat. Now children, this is about long tail boats. These are mostly found in Southeast Asia. It has an automotive engine with a propeller. Propeller means a type of oar which has a machine or an engine fit on it which helps the boat to move ahead using the engine. It has simple controls which helps operate the boat easily. That is just like we are able to ride the bicycle and use the handlebar to change its directions. The same way its controls are very easy to operate. These are now often used to transport tourists from one place to another. These are also used in various boating competitions around the world. A few of them are shown in the pictures here. It's mostly used in Thailand and southern part of India, that is in Kerala. So, isn't it fun?
Now children, let's see more about motor boats. It is also known as speed boat or power boat. It has an engine installed in board or out board. That is in the inner part of the board or on the outer part of the board. Its engines run on fuels like gasoline, diesel or steam. Here you can see in the pictures on the left side the engine is installed in the inner part of the boat. Whereas on the right side you can see the engine is outer side of the boat. These are popular nowadays due to wakeboarding. And what is wakeboarding? Well, it's a type of a water sport where a rider on a small boat is towed by a motor boat attached by a cable. So, isn't it an interesting sport? How many of you do like to try it out? Well, do discuss about it with your friends and when you get an opportunity, surely do try it. Now children, last we are going to see about trawler boats. These are huge boats also called as cruising trawlers or trawler yachts. They have a huge load carrying capacity. That is, they can carry tons and tons of loads very easily. Trawling is a method of fishing that involves dragging or pulling the trawls also known as fishing nets along the see surface. Can you see on the left hand side? The trawler is carrying huge loads of fishes in the nets on both of its sides. They can make long distance trips deep into the sea for fishing. Because they are huge, they can very easily travel deep into the sea. Even if they are huge and high tides in the sea. So, I hope you enjoyed learning about different types of boats. With this, we come to the end of part 2 of chapter 1. I hope all of you enjoyed watching the video, learning about different types of boats and schools of fish. Isn't it? If you did like my video, please click on the like button. Also subscribe and share. Thank you all. Bye. See you soon.